I feel like I'm so oily. All the time. Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to be doing my June favorites, so if you want to see what I was loving this month, please keep watching. Okay, so first I want to state the obvious, I'm filming in a different location because I'm getting ready to move and my room is a mess and I didn't really feel like cleaning it, so that is why we're in this location today and also it's a little dreary outside and they're doing some construction, <laughs> so I apologize if um, you hear that going on in the background, but hopefully you won't. Um, so in June, I really don't feel like I used a lot of products. Um, I was away from work for a week and today was actually my last day of work. Yay. <laughs> um, and the past couple weeks I haven't been wearing a lot of makeup just because I really haven't been into it and I've had other things on my mind, other things to do. So I really haven't been into much makeup at all this month. But I did get new products, so some of the things are new and you will see them in a haul, I think on the 1st of July, which was recorded a couple days ago. So if some of the things look new and you see them in the haul, that's why. Um, but some of the things that I've gotten this month, I've used so much already that they're instantly favorites. So let's quickly get into everything, enough rambling. Uh, the first thing that I'm going to talk about are my Ula Henriksen Oil-Free Pore Refining Cleansing Cloth. I used these when I was in Vegas. I've used these before, but I really like how they take off your makeup. They kind of exfoliate and get the gunk out of your pores and also help to keep you kind of mattified. Um, so I've really been enjoying these. I don't know if I will actually purchase these just because when I move I'll be able to get my Holy Grail makeup wipes from Walmart and they're probably a fourth of the price. But these are really good for traveling or to keeping your car. One tip I do have, okay I'm rambling already sorry, but um, you guys know while I was working at Sephora a lot of times I get out of work really late. I love to take my makeup off in the car on the way home because if I don't take it off in the car I will get home and possibly crash and mess up my sheets. So I like to keep a pack of makeup wipes, a mini one, in my car. Next I have my Bosha Blotting Linens which I just used before this video because I'm always oily. These come with a little case to keep your blotting linens in and also a mirror which is good for touch-ups throughout the day and you can also use this as a regular compact mirror so I really like this and that came in handy a lot when I was in Vegas. Also in the mirror category, this is um, a little travel mirror that I purchased on Sephora's website probably two years ago. Um, I think when I first moved here, I've taken this mirror camping with me. I took it on the plane because I think in the airport I put on a little bit of makeup just because I didn't want to look dead when I got to Vegas. Um, so I really love this cute um, compact portable mirror and I think I like... I don't know keep it at work or something this is a really just nifty idea and this was on sale for like five bucks the next thing I have is my Clinique dramatically different moisturizing gel um, I use this moisturizer during the summer because my skin is really oily and it works for me it's relatively inexpensive for how much product you get it's about 4.2 ounces yes and I think this costs like 26 or 32 so this is really affordable in my opinion for the price per ounce and this just moisturizer is very basic but it does help to keep me mattified at least throughout the first portion of my day. When I run out of this though I will try Lancome's new Pure, Fo new Pure Focus line just because I kind of want to try something different. Uh, the next thing I have is something that I did a review on and I wasn't so sure whether or not I liked it. It's the Dior Instant Cleansing. Cleansing. Instant cleansing water with pure lily extract. Now in the review, I griped about the method of um, dispensing, um, but when I was doing <laughs> the editing for the video and I used it to take my makeup off, I realized the little strip that went down the middle that was causing the product to be like spewed out on the side, that was actually like a protection guard. So I took that off and now the application is fine, although I do prefer um, the type where you can just put the pad on it and pump it down like that. This is fine. I like the way it smells. It's nice and gentle. It removes my makeup if I'm just wearing a little bit. And so I do like this. It still is really expensive for what it is. 
but it's lasted me quite a while. I got this in April, um, so I maybe would repurchase it again. I don't know. It's definitely not something that you need. You can definitely find a cleansing water for a lot cheaper. Um, I'll save that towards the end a little bit. Um, I really don't have a lot of makeup at all. <laughs> the next thing that's in here is my Kate Somerville Eradicate. I got a lot of blemishes this month, uh, very little blemishes, but I got a lot of them. And this was one thing that really helped to dry up the acne really quickly. I really like this product. I recommend it to clients. You just can't use too much because it's like pure sulfur. Uh, mixed with alcohol on the top, but you're not supposed to mix it and if you use too much It can really dry out and irritate your skin, but this is awesome This is what dermatologists often prescribe to help treat your acne and dry out the acne Another thing I really enjoyed was this Shiseido ultimate sun protection cream SPF 50 plus broad spectrum for your face um, SPF of 50 really isn't needed uh, an SPF of about 30 to 35 is okay um, but I like this for keeping in my makeup bag, um, and I think that's what I'm going to do with this little sample. Um, just in case you're out somewhere and you didn't intend to be out in the sun for a long period of time. I know when I was at Sephora the previous month, we had a whole animation about sunscreen and how sunscreen is so important, which it is, but it's something that people often just skip over, whether it be that you don't think you need sunscreen because you have more melanin in your skin or because you're not outside a lot, but you really do need sunscreen everybody every day. Uh, but I myself don't do that as much as I should just because it's an extra step a lot of times it is greasy and they are expensive they can be um, but I think I'm gonna get more into sunscreen but that's why I like this because I can just pop it in my bag and I can use it whenever I'm out and I need to so the three makeup items well let's finish out skincare I also have my Bosha Subaki deep hydration sleeping mask I would use this anytime that I just feel my skin is overly dehydrated and it's just so thirsty for some hydration. I will use this mask. Um, I'm trying to think, did I apply it to my whole face or just in sections? I can't honestly remember, but this is really good. It's hydrating. I love the Bosha brand simply partly because it's Japanese, but this line is really nice and I think in the winter time, I will just buy the oil as well. It's kind of like the Josie Marin Argan oil. The last skincare kind of item is this Kiehl's Bath and Shower Liquid Body Cleanser in the Grapefruit Scent. This is going to be featured in the haul that's going to be up on my channel on July 1st. I love this cleanser because it's like a natural grapefruit scent. I have another cleanser in my shower right now that's from the brand... I honestly can't remember, but it is a grapefruit scent and I've had it. It's like huge. I've had it for years, but that smells like artificial grapefruit. <laughs> this just smells like pure, clean grapefruit. It's a very light scent, but it's a great cleanser. It's, it's not too sudsy, but it's just sudsy enough. Um, this is just a trial size. I think when I run out of this, I will repurchase this because I like it. Sometimes in the morning, I just want to put on a little bit of scent i don't use this to clean my whole body just mainly like my shoulder and decollete i think that's how you say it area just to give me a little bit of scent and this is really nice so i really like that now let's move on to the three makeup items that i love this month which are very basic the first lipstick is what i'm wearing right now it's max flat out fabulous um Simply put, this is a really great lipstick, a bright kind of purpley pink. I just love it. It's matte, so it will last all day if it doesn't come into contact with anything with an oil or anything emollient. Um, so I just love that. The next is a blush. This is NARS Blush in Angelica. I've been absolutely loving this blush this month. I'm usually not into blushes that are so bright pink and have shimmer in them, but as I told you, I wasn't really wearing a lot of makeup this month, so something like this has just been amazing for me. I love the little pop of color that it just adds to your cheeks, and I've been really enjoying this with like a neutral winged eyeliner like I have on today, or a bright lip, or a nude lip. So this is one of my favorite blushes of the moment. Today, I don't have it on, though I have on Taj Mahal. And the last makeup item is kind of like a lipstick. It's the Lancome Shine Lover in number 357. I will swatch this for you. 
um, it's just like a sheer wash of color. I wore this when I was on the plane going to Vegas because I just wanted something really light yet hydrating that would keep my lips hydrated throughout the flight. And this really just fit the bill for me. Um, it definitely doesn't have good color payoff, but it's supposed to be more of a shiny, uh, sheer lipstick. So I think I'll just keep this in my makeup bag for those times when I just need a little bit of color if I'm running to the grocery store or something like that and I just don't want to look dead. So that's what I like this product for. My last two items, well my last three, um, my Pandora bracelet. Um, I absolutely love my Pandora bracelet. I've spoken about it in a couple of videos. Um, I think I have a video of what's on my Pandora bracelet on my channel. I just love how the bracelet kind of tells a story, whether it's a decade of your life, a couple of years. I just love how, well, to me, everything on my bracelet is meaningful to myself. And it's just, I don't know, it's like an awesome little memory book or photo album, but in a different kind of way. So the most recent charm I've gotten is this gondola one. And I wanted to get a charm for my birthday that just passed. Um, they do have Vegas dice and I think maybe some other charms, but I didn't want dice because I like gambling, but it's not that much of an important factor in my life because clearly there are no casinos in the immediate area where I live. I wanted something else to kind of commemorate that experience. And we did do gondola rides while we were there. Um, but before we even did that, my mom had given me this charm for my birthday. So I just felt that was really nice. And it's the only dangle charm on my bracelet. I'm not really into things that dangle. I figured I'll live a little for this one special charm. So that's one favorite. Also something else that I got in Las Vegas, which I didn't do a haul because I really didn't pick up too much in Vegas, but I love this little mug. Let me also say it was hard to find souvenirs in Las Vegas. I don't know if I was just really picky or what, but even when I was picking out gifts for other people, I literally had to find some in the airport because it was so hard to find them. I think I actually found this at Walgreens. <laughs> yeah. But it just says, um, welcome to Fabulous Las Vegas, blah, blah, blah. And I've been using this for juice and wine. Um, <laughs> I got that from my grandfather. My grandfather drinks wine out of a mug I'm not sure why probably because he can't see and it's easier to hold a mug it's a lot more cozy to snuggle under a blanket and drink wine out of a mug even though it's not proper but hey sometimes you just want to be cozy <laughs> and the last favorite I have is a fragrance this is Burberry sheer Brit or I think now it's called oh it's actually called Brit sheer they did change the packaging to this. This is the older version. I got this years and years and years ago, but I've only used that much of it because I just have so many fragrances and I tend to switch them up a lot. So I'll probably never get through this, but this is a very clean citrusy scent. It's a different type of citrus than like a Dolce & Gabbana um, light blue. It's a little more fresh, but this just reminds me of like a citrus pink color, if I could describe it in a color because clearly that's what I do. This scent just makes me feel really sporty. So I wear this on days when I'm just very casual and I'm not sure what scent to wear. This just puts me in the mind of myself in like an all white outfit, just running through the tennis court, even though I don't play tennis. But that is why I like this scent. It's just very sporty. Um, and when I get to where I'm moving, I really can't wait to go to Saks Fifth Avenue and pick out a new Bond fragrance. I've been dying to go, but I kind of want to wait till I get there just because I don't want to have to pack anything. But anyway, that has nothing to do with this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do videos and you've done a June favorites, please let me know because I love watching these videos. I always get ideas of what I should go pick out or try. Even though, like I always say, I really shouldn't. And now, since I'm not going to be working, I really don't need to be trying any skincare or makeup. So it's kind of good that I won't be at Sephora. Oh, also, now that I'm no longer working there, I am going to film a video all about my experience being hired, working there, my suggestions to you, basically just my overall Sephora experience. So I'm trying to think of a way to make it as accurate as possible, but still professional and 
you know, all that good stuff because I'm going to tell you guys the real, my 100% opinion, but I also want to, uh, you know, remain a little perfect, well, a lot professional. So I'm going to figure out that video and I'll bring that to you guys just because I know when I was looking at what to expect from my Sephora interview or working at Sephora, I was looking on uh, YouTube and a lot of girls work at regular freestanding Sephora's. I actually work in a Sephora inside JCPenney, which is a completely different ball game than freestanding Sephora's. I know a lot of people that work in Sephora's inside JCPenney will tell you that they are just the same, but they are not. They are completely different. They have completely different somewhat rules. They run differently and uh, from my experience working at one inside JCPenney, I think you get a completely different experience at a JCPenney Sephora um, opposed to a freestanding. So I'm going to give you all my suggestions and my insight. <laughs> so that video will probably come in July. My schedule is going to be a lot more relaxed now because I'm not going to be working. So maybe I'll start a vlog channel. I don't know. I'm going to have a lot more free time. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see what videos I come up with and of course my background's gonna change but anyway I'm rambling like I often do I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one bye